guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna admit, I'm very low on energy today. Today has been a hectic shoot day for me, so hopefully I can get through this in one piece. Uh, I promised you guys this little tutorial on iOS 14, so we're gonna do that. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa Lenore, and I don't normally do tech stuff other than when I unbox the iPhone and just talk about things like that. Um, but I usually do luxury fashion, travel, vlogs, and all that good stuff. So if you are interested, like my energy, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so that you know when I post new videos. And also feel free to check out my Instagram where I post every single day. And the aesthetic of my Instagram feed is gonna be very apparent in why my iOS 14 looks the way it does. We're gonna just dive right into it. Uh, you're gonna need to download iOS 14, obviously. Uh, and then you're going to need Photo Widget, Widget Smith, and Short Stack. So, Short Stack. What am I talking about? Shortcuts. Oh my gosh. It is that time of the day. I am so sorry. So, you're going to download all those things and we'll show you guys around on my phone. So first I'm going to show you guys my lock screen. This is a photo of my parents on their wedding day. Just going to swipe up and you see my landing page, my home page, first page, whatever you want to call it. So obviously it is very neutral and that's my thing. If you know me from Instagram, I love neutrals and it's just very aesthetically pleasing to the eye for me. So I'm going to just kind of walk you through my setup really quick and then I'll go into how to's. Uh, so for my first page, I wanted it to look very clean and minimal. So I have a photo widget up top and for this widget, I have a couple of different photos and they kind of just change throughout the day or I think every day it changes to a different one. I don't really remember, but that is my photo widget. And then I have my most used apps. So I guess this video kind of is also like what's on my phone. Um, I have the Unfold app, which is how I create my stories. Visco is how I edit all of my Instagram photos and videos. In Preview is how I put together my Instagram grid. And then camera, obviously, so I can easily take a photo. Reward style for my affiliate links, like to know it, YouTube. And then time page is by Moleskin, and it's just a super aesthetic looking calendar. And it's automatically synced with my iCal, so I didn't even really need to import everything. But on the bottom, I also have Widget Smith with a calendar, and I set this one up uh, to just like fit whatever look I was going for. So my Widget Smith. You do have to pay if you want to get super customizable with it. So that is just a heads up. But basically you can pick small widgets, medium widgets, large widgets, and just pick between photos, a calendar. Um, what other things do they do? Basically with Widget Smith, you can do weather, calendar, world time, reminders, health, astronomy, tides, photos. So whatever you want to do. Technically, you don't need the photo widget app if you just want one specific photo all the time, but I have photo widget and widget smith. Photo widget was free, so there wasn't really a big deal having it on my phone. I also have the Mac storage for an iPhone 11 Pro Max, so I'm not concerned too much about space. And then obviously like the background, just super neutral. I created this on Photoshop and then just wrote my name in one of my favorite fonts on the bottom. That font is Beluga, and I'm pretty sure I downloaded it off Creative Market. So you can just make whatever background you want, but for me, I just wanted to keep it super simple because I felt like it was busy enough as it is with all of the widgets and icons. And you'll also see on the page that the neutral ones like to know at YouTube, and then the ones on that dashboard on the bottom are all neutral. And this was created through Shortcuts. And I'll go into that towards the end after we finish this quick little run through. So obviously those all look super uniform and clean and very aesthetically pleasing. A ton of shortcut apps look great, but realistically for me, I could not handle everything going into the shortcuts app. This is what a lot of people don't tell you. It's going to look good, but your phone is going to do this. You're going to hit the icon. It's going to go into shortcuts and then it's going to open up that app. So I wanted to make sure that I could only do this for select icons. And I just really wanted to find a balance between aesthetic and practicality. So this is my little solution. I only have 
six icons that are through shortcuts and that's like to know it YouTube Instagram Safari mail and photos second page I have contacts wallet TikTok settings all these things kind of arranged in a color coordinated way but they're also my other most used apps and obviously I didn't want all of these to be the shortcut icons as nice as it would be it would drive me insane and another thing to keep in mind with shortcuts is that you're not going to get those badge notifications on those icons when you put it on your phone so just keep that in mind if you are someone that constantly needs to know when something comes in as soon as it comes in like an email message phone call if you shortcut all of your apps and throw all those original app icons into your app library you are not going to get that notification on the icon that you've created a shortcut for. So I like to keep Chase, Facebook, Snapchat, Gmail, all that good stuff just as is. And then in the center, I just have my photos and notes and just configure it however way works for you. But I like this and normally it's just on the weather page. Uh, you'll see in the bottom that my icons for Instagram, Safari, Mail, and Photos all line up with the dash that's on the bottom for the icons that I've created shortcuts for. So this is just kind of easy for me to see where everything is. It does take some time to get used to it if you are reconfiguring your iOS 14 a lot from what it was when you were on iOS 13. For me, it's pretty easy because I already was working with two pages on my phone and everything was pretty much color coordinated. I'm the kind of person that just likes to search for my apps a lot of the time if it's my tertiary apps where I'm not really using it as much. So I wanna say these are kind of like my secondary and obviously my primary apps just luckily are mostly neutral and work with the theme that I have created for myself. So that is page two for my iOS 14. Last page, I have Widget Smith, where I just have another photo up top. That photo doesn't change, so I just keep that as is. It's my latest bag. It is the Dior Bobby. I've always done color-coded folders. Like, I've done this for years now, and I'm just super used to it. So these are all of my other apps, just color-coordinated. And all I really do is just pull down and search for an app if I really need to. And then on the bottom, I have time page, and this is just a quick little schedule. And those are my three pages. So when you are figuring out your layout, obviously it's very specific to the person. Figure out what you need, what you're looking for, and you just really got to know like how you want this laid out. Aesthetics are very important, but so is practical usage. I'm sure... Like when I first got iOS 14 and I saw all of these TikToks on these super aesthetic pages where it was just pages and pages and pages of customized icons, that looks amazing, but I personally just don't have the patience for it. I can't have all of my apps go into shortcuts before it goes into the app and I can't do without push notifications on certain apps where I just need to know when an email comes in, when a message comes in, when a FaceTime gets missed. So that's just for my personal usage. So I tried to find a balance between having a very aesthetic first page that I was really happy with, and then page two and three are just super practical, but really clean as well. At least it is in my opinion. So now I'm gonna show you guys how you can customize your apps to create these little icons on the bottom. I'm just gonna delete one of them so that we can go through this process together. So you're gonna go into your apps and get shortcuts. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to customize those icons so it looks all nice and neutral and pretty. If that's what you wanna do. Uh, you're going to hit the plus sign on the top right corner and select add action. You're gonna select scripting and then click on open app because that's what you want this icon to do. You want it to open an app and basically shortcut to it even though it's not really a shortcut it's a long cut because you go into shortcuts before it actually opens the app but anyways i digress this should now have your page should look like this and you're going to select choose and you're just basically going to enter in the app that you want to link it to hit those three little dots underneath the next on the top right and you can basically create your shortcut name I'm gonna put photos 
and then click on that image that's next to where you just typed and this is where you can create a custom color so for me I pick this color all the way on the bottom right and then you're gonna swipe to glyph where you can pick the icon that you want this app icon to look like so for photos I am just going to swipe a little bit and go with this one this one looks good I think that's what I had before uh, so we're gonna hit done and done and done again so now you can see photos on this shortcuts page and when you want to add it to your home screen you're gonna hit those three dots on photos those three dots again and just select add to home screen make any changes you want here the look of the icon the name but if everything looks good you're just gonna hit add and that is it so now we're gonna go back into the phone and you can see the photos icon on the page I'm just gonna drag this down to the little dashboard and hit done and that is all so super simple easy enough uh, pick whatever color works for you and yeah just play around with it but keep in mind that your shortcuts will not lead to the app directly there's about like a one second lag maybe half a second lag so do it with certain apps I guess like as long as whatever your patience will allow you to and then with the shortcuts app also keep in mind that you're not going to get notifications so if there are any apps that are really important for you to get notified on just keep that in mind and maybe don't do a shortcut for it or if you do make sure that app its original app icon is still on your phone and not in the app library for me personally i like to keep it really simple and clean and minimal uh, without having to sacrifice the efficiency of my phone because obviously I work on my phone and I just want everything to be readily available but obviously aesthetics matter to me and I just really wanted to have something that looked nice and clean and was easy to use. There are certain apps that moved around for me so it took maybe a day or two for me to remember. I'm certainly clicking into apps from muscle memory and it's a different app now so it does just take some getting used to. Uh, I knew for a fact that I wanted to limit the amount of pages on my phone, so I feel like three is a good mix. I'm rarely on the third page because I'm really just searching for a certain app if I really need it. But yeah, all of my main apps are on page one and two, and I feel like this is just a really great and easy way to move around and... I really love it. So if you guys found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments and feedback down below. If you guys do decide to customize your home screen inspired by how I did mine, uh, please tag me on Instagram so I can check it out. Would love to see how you guys are customizing your iOS 14. And that is all. So thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, your love and support mean the world to me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!